Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about too much for a junior. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, I started my first job three months ago, contracted as a full stack web developer after two years of studying. They did uh, tell me that they needed someone passionate to learn, which definitely was my case. After three months of usual web dev stuff, the product needed some graphic programming with shaders at work. So they told me that I needed to do that. I'm all about learning, but I did not receive any mentorship and the web dev tasks they, that were given to me were, in my opinion, way too complex already for a junior. Updating all the dependencies of the project, product being one, still I still managed to figure it out all by myself. But I think what they asked me to do now is too much, even though I do like the field of graphics programming, video games and all the stuff, asking me to do this was with my salary and experience seems wrong to me. What should I do? Well, uh, <laughs> yeah, graphics programming for a junior software developer. That uh, that's gonna take some uh, take some adjustment. It's a whole like if you're a web developer and you haven't done graphics, uh, this is like a whole different uh, like it's a whole different field. I've had these questions related to people who want to be games programmers, and I try to tell them that games programmers and graphics and so forth, guys, it, it's very different from web. It's very different from like most things that you do. It's a very a very specific set of skills uh, in comparison to what most people are doing. It's not that you can't learn it. It's more, but it takes time. It's not you know if you took a whole you know take if you take a full boot camp on web development, you won't learn probably the first thing that you will need to figure out. You know, apart from of course yeah, regular programming, but you won't know the first thing about how to deal with graphics and uh, web game development and things like that. So basically, I wrote back to the subscriber and I tried to tell you tell uh, tell the person in question the thing that I usually thought about as well, because I had a very similar, not as extreme as this, but mine wasn't. Uh, I wasn't put in a uh, graphics situation I was put in a finance situation at my first job as a junior software developer where I had to there was no mentorship no support whatsoever they bit, literally put me alone on the project I've never had a job in my first at a, ever right in programming at the very least and the the system that I was working on was a an invoice well it's not an invoice but a salary management system which requires of course taxation calculations and things like that and the solution they had was that oh no we don't have time to teach you or tell you or help you and give you any support when it comes to figuring out how should the system does to do the calculations uh, you have to call the finance the government's finance department and ask them about the calculations like just like whoever does taxes right it, it, literally that was the solution right I was way way in over my head and I actually did have had a few people who were more experienced who said yeah it seems a little bit tough for a junior to deal with this sort of situation and I'm telling you the same thing this might be a little bit tough for a junior so let me tell you what I did and I hope that the same thing can apply to you so this was enormously stressful of course and the reality was that the reason why I put up with that situation was because at the time I, this was my only option. So I tried my best, I tried to learn, I did as well as I could. And you might be in a similar sort of situation because I have been in situations where I have been put in, not as a junior necessarily, but in a, in a position where it's not a good situation, it's very difficult to deal with it. And I found that stakeholders who do this are either they're either ignorant of or like they don't really understand uh, you know this might be a lot to ask from someone who is a programmer or a junior or something like that that's very classic or they're simply desperate they are aware of that this is a bad thing but they don't have any other choice uh, so this is the best they come up and can come up with and the way that I tried to look at it was that this is paid learning and it was. I mean, it was enormously stressful, and it d didn't. At the end of the day, I'm very happy that I left that position. But it 
did teach me things. And that's the thing that I suggest that you do, because it might be that if you solve this thing, because you can look at it as just a, another challenge for you. If you solve this, you might actually get a pat on the back or a pat on the shoulder saying that, hey, actually, wow, you are really talented. Even if you don't solve it, even if it turns out that you just, you know, they get displeased or you might get fired for all I know. We don't know, right? Because it is up to the employer in question. When you look at your next position, this is still experience that you have gained and it's something that you can bring to the table and say that, yeah, like I've done some graphics programming, etc., etc., which is something that is uncommon. And trust me when I say this, if you told me that you had to do these sorts of things at like a junior level, it would be something that at least I could appreciate that, oh, okay, that's uh, pretty advanced and I understand I would understand that this is not something that would have come easy to you so it's not gonna even if you are unhappy with the situation you don't have to look at it as you know as something that you have to put up with but it can be a meaningful and useful experience for you similar to how I tell some people who are unhappy that they work in a shitty code base if you're really really unhappy go and work someone else, uh, somewhere else because you can always t that's a card you can always play but in some cases it might be useful for you to try a little bit to see if you can make this thing work because everything is always hard in the beginning and I can tell you that it was the same thing for me and I'm not gonna say it was a pleasant experience but I did become a better software developer from trying and the job I got after I was I moved from a high complexity domain such as finances and I was moved into another position where I had a lot of legacy system to deal with where you know the guy before me had also qu had quit due to the fact that he couldn't deal with that situation or he didn't want to deal with that situation but I picked up the the challenge of trying to fix this and really try to do my best and I learned quite a lot and I became a lot better at in this case it was front-end development uh, than I used to be because I had to get over that hump and that's something that I think is just a generally healthy thing for you to consider that you know I'm not saying that this is specifically the sort of hill that you're, you you want to climb but everything that is difficult in the beginning is usually going to end up with you learning something useful at the end of it if you have too many expectations on you and you really feel bad about it you can always go somewhere else but I always suggest people to give it the old college try or like give it a give it a shot and see if you can overcome the challenges because this is gonna be tricky for you but I think that it's something you might be able to deal with and even if it turns out poorly you have learned something from it and you got paid doing it so what I want you to take away from this is that it's very it's not uncommon guys for you to get put in a position where people ask more of you than what you can deliver because the reality is guys that as I've said many times before guys there are no requirements on managers in IT to know the first thing about software development most of them don't know anything so they don't know if they're giving you a hard thing or an easy thing in many cases and in some cases as I said they're just desperate I've been there too where they don't have any other options so they just put things on you and hope that you can learn how to swim and if you can do well there you're gonna impress some people and even if it doesn't go so well you're going to learn something doing it I've been here before a few times and I know that it sucks and it really comes down to how much of suckiness can you deal with before you decide to yeah no actually I don't want to put up with this anymore if you can talk to them and explain how you feel that's always a good thing but at the very least I suggest that you give it a bit of a go see if you can learn something from it because it is as I said, worst case scenario, you're getting paid to learn something, which is always a good thing for you when you want to do the next thing. And hopefully it's going to be an experience for you where you become a better software developer. And as I said, you can always move on, uh, but I suggest that you give it a try first and really feel it out if you know if you can't solve the situation in some other way. If you feel like you're being too lowly paid or something like that, start immediately to look at some other options while you're doing this because it's double value. If you keep the job and get paid to learn things while you're looking for another place to work, uh, it's just a good situation for you. Uh, that's what I suggest to you. Have a great day.